I have to land this fish. It's easier to land fish when you're in fog of war, so. There we go. Wow. Okay. All right, Lawlers, welcome back to another gameplay. We're in season 14. We're going to be trying out one of the hottest champions in the new patches here uh, with the new items. That's going to be Fizz. The rush item is going to be a Hextech rocket belt, and then we're going to follow up with a Storm Surge. Hopefully with a pair of Iron Boots of Lucidity sometime all before 20 minutes. We've got to get a couple kills probably on the way to make that happen. But if we do, I think this guy is supposed to be an absolute monster. So um, we're up against Katarina, definitely very killable. She's kind of uh, flashy with her dashes, but if we can land a shark on her, I think we'll be okay. And I think we also have some pretty good trade patterns into her um, once we get level 3. So we're going to play pretty safe before level 3. I think she's got the advantage level 1 and 2. And then 3, we can kind of even this out. Jungle matchups are a Rengar. And we have a Belveth on our side. So I think um, in terms of scaling, we're going to do a little bit better. Uh, maxing out the E this game as standard. And hopefully get level 3 here and go for a nice little chunk trade on her. We're running the Electrocute Rune set with pretty standard runes outside of that, so nothing really crazy in terms of the runes that we're going to be running this game, just pretty standard stuff. It's more about trying out the items here. That's our level 3. We're going to look to trade into her because she doesn't have her Q, so at least we'll try and get her off this wave. So I have to be careful that um, once I go in, I make sure I don't E back on one of her daggers. That would be the big no-no here. I'm going to wait for my W to be up in a few seconds before I go for a trade. I actually have a lot of minions here, so I think I can be pretty aggressive. She's playing quite passive. Um, I wonder if that means that Ringo is somewhere around here. I'm just going to go put a ward topside here, see if Ringo's. Oh, he did start top. Interesting. So Rengar is going to be up here somewhere. I could probably fight since my wave's pushed in, but I don't know if Belveth is coming. Alright, she is. Yep, yeah, let's go, let's go. Why are you running back? I'm right here. Oh, what a flash by that guy. Alright, we still got him. I had to use my Ignite just to make sure we put him down real quick. Um, get back to lane. I don't think we're going to miss too much. And that's right there is kind of like a really good summary of what season... Um, Ooh, you blew everything. I'm gonna run towards Belveth, who's ignoring me here, even though this Katarina is, like, on my face. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, season 14, new season, same debauchery. Um, what I was saying was that those kind of river roams and skirmishes are gonna be really important in season 14, because there's a lot of stuff right now, early game in the jungle, that are gonna dictate how probably the whole flow of the match is going to go so she's looking for some trades i'm going to pop my other potion here but i am going to go for a nice quick one a little bit of laggy lag I'm not sure why it's kind of spiking up when this katarina gets close to me maybe she's hacking me i can't even see my w go off I don't really have enough mana to go and, and trade onto her. She's manaless, so she can stay here as long as she wants. Um, I want a more hit level 6 and play kind of safe here. I'm happy if she wants to push the wave in. Just chilling. It's a good place for me to be right now until I have a, a shark up. Ignite's up in 85 seconds, so I might be able to look for a kill when Ignite's up if I still haven't recalled by then. Just don't want to chew any damage. Happy to keep the wave state right here. And that's really important to do as Fizz, I think, is uh, manage your early wave states. Something that really makes a lot of matchups and snowballing easier. There's always this constant pressure with Fizz, especially if you're playing MAP, to snowball really hard really early. But it's more about looking for your spots and staying healthy. So that when you do go in and a jungle gank comes, you can actually do something. Okay, we finally have six. I don't know why we spiked six a lot later than her, considering we got a kill. I know she was in lane. So 
So, Belveth is coming now. I have to just wait for her to do something. There we go. That's why I didn't want to use my shark, because I knew that she was going to just dodge it. Okay, I think that landed. Hopefully she can stop him. Knock him up. Do something. Nice. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. I don't know if I'm lagging or if Belvath is lagging, but something was weird there. But we got the kill. We got out. Um, landed that shark through the uh, ping spikes. Love it. And we've got our first kill of the game at six minutes. So that's what you're going to be kind of looking for um, with Fizz. Um, pretty nice item spike here. Some of the components of items in Season 14 are a little bit cleaner on your back. So you can pick up some stuff without some awkward backs. So we're 600 gold away from the Hextech Rocket Belt. That's going to give us a little bit of health, a little bit less ability power. But when we pick up the Storm Surge, that's where we're going to become a real weapon. Um, the reason you go with the Hextech first is just with the extra mobility and the health and the... Um, the cooldown, the ability haste, so you want all that as fizz. So again, we're just going to kind of keep the wave in a very nice state. Don't want to chew that dagger off her, but I do want to give her some damage. That's the other kind of big key when you're playing fizz, is timing out your E's. Um, you don't just want to use it for damage, it's kind of wasting half the ability. You want to try and make sure you're dodging out some spell or some damage from the enemy later as well. You can see this Katarina, just the way that she's managing waves is not great and that's making her having to overextend to get any kind of CS and also opening up my ability to trade onto her. So I have Shark in 10 seconds. I do want to look for a little mini trade here to kind of prep her for something. I think we can go for the Shark. I missed a Shark. Okay, uh, that was a horrible play by me in terms of throwing a Shark out. But we still managed to again throw an ignite down and that's what we were waiting for remember i said we're gonna wait for an ignite here for an all-in and um and then use that to our advantage when we have some some advantages so pick up two kills there we've got enough now for a rocket belt i need to back here with this level of health because i don't want rengar to come in with an ult and just destroy me so we've got that now we're going to start building into the storm surge and this is the item that a lot of people in season 14 are saying is super op for mages it's already been hot fix nerfed i think um, because it was too powerful, but I still think it is a very, very powerful item. Basically, anybody that you play mid lane that's AP right now that can go Rocket Belt into Storm Surge is doing really, really good. So we've got Shark up in 40 seconds, and we've got a Rocket Belt. So what we can do here is we can actually just Rocket Belt right into her, and then um, we can look for a trade. I'm going to wait for this to push slightly closer to my tower just in case something goes wrong here. Uh, I missed her. That was a mistake. I was trying to Q onto her and then I just QW'd a minion instead. That's fine. Maxing out that W second. Now, the Hextech Rocket Belt doesn't give any mana, so you do have to be a little bit careful with your mana sustain. Um, but they just killed her. So we're going to get some plates now. I didn't follow her there, and I should have pinged, but I didn't follow her there because generally you want to make sure you shove it ways before you follow. Um, it's just more guaranteed gold and XP. That's a safer and more consistent way to climb and carry. So here, we're going to let this wave come out, and then we're going to try and push this in as fast as possible. You can see there, just with a rocket belt, that our um, E clears out backline minions in one shot. So really, really powerful wave clear there. It really helps out. Looks like there's some stuff going bot. Now that I shoved mid, I can look for a roam bot. And we have shark and rocket belt, so we can be pretty aggressive here. Um, I don't know if Lucian has ult with Braum. If he does... Yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to fight that 1v2, and our, our Zyro is pretty slow rotating to me. So I'm just going to use the E to dodge that. I don't really want to engage. Felt like I could get shut down there. If I went 1v2, I don't know if these guys have some. Lucian's fed. He's already got a full item, so just have to be careful here. We're going to look for a little trade onto her in a second here. Just like that. So you want to do that a few times. Just prep them. And then you can look for an all-in when they're about 60% health unless you're uber fed. I'm fed, but not super, super fed. So here again. A 
little bit of lag, a little bit of lag, but it's working. If I wasn't lagging, this would be even cleaner, but we're making the best happen here. Are you guys experiencing this kind of stuff when you're logging on and playing? I'm not sure if it's just like season 14 or the client, but I'm um, usually down at around like 18 ping, but for some reason, on, a lot of games this season, there's been a lot of trouble with the ping on my end, so see if that continues. Um, we are now 3-0, and um, cruising through this game. I think we're well on track to building our Storm Surge uh, before 18 or before 20 minutes, probably before 18 minutes. And we're just going to keep looking for that trade pattern, shoving waves and going down um, to bot lane. I don't think I really want to look for an all in top lane because Trundle is quite large right now. She did dodge my W, but I still hit some good damage on her. Now, under tower, you can still Q auto... And take no damage like that with your E. So that's a really important trade pattern as Fizz that you need to learn, especially if you're ahead, to really push your advantage. When they've let the wave crash because they're trying to play safe and you're ahead, you have to make sure you you do that little combo of Q, Auto, W, then dodge the turret shots and keep pushing and, and poking away at them like that. So we've got Shark. It looks like... I missed that completely. We're just going to have to back out. Yeah, that's my bad. That's my bad. I missed that. I wasn't sure if he was going to dash into her or not. Tried to predict it. Really bad prediction. It happens. The reason I also backed out instead of going and fighting is because I saw that Desire was a little bit late. Misfortune wasn't even close to us, so it's just not worth it when you have a 350 gold shutdown. You have to play aggressive when you're ahead like this, but you also have to be a little bit smarter. It's like more power, more responsibility, so... That's fine. Nice. Misfortune picks up the kill. Um, she's roaming, so I'm just going to do a couple pings here. Make sure that these guys know that she's roaming. He's doing these, which are really important. So I'm going to actually run up here, put a ward behind me in case Cat follows. And then help these guys take this down. I'm not going to use any of my mana on this right now. I'm just going to help kind of with an extra body here in case Trundle shows up. These guys should be able to finish that. Cat's roaming bot, so we're going to run really quick and see if we can push this wave in here. Maybe get another plate. Let's see, actually. Where would she... Hmm. I have to push this one in and then we'll, we'll look for something. Nice. Cat's still not here. If she does show, I don't think we can all in her. Unfortunately. I was thinking about eating towards her. I think we can land this. Alright, we gotta start a recall right now, right here. Got no mana for E, but uh, the rocket belt there in the queue, we're getting to the point where we're dealing enough damage, even without landing a full rotation. That's where Fizz gets really dangerous, when you can start to actually kill people without using full rotations. Or you miss like one ability, you have to use your Q or your E to like gap close instead of actually doing damage. That's where you become really, really annoying. Yeah, it's weird. There's no mana in this um, in this core build that we're doing, right? Like, we're not getting any extra mana from anywhere. But it seems like the sustain and the pool is big enough as long as you're not spamming abilities. Like, you have to be a little bit more, I guess, focused with when you're going to use your abilities. But we should be able to drop this tower unless everybody comes at us. There's a chance that uh, we draw an alt here from somebody. Took that down. Like I'm going to have to hover mid a little bit longer here because nobody's coming from bot side. Zyra's here, which is good. I kind of want to kill this Lucian. He's 5-1. We'll just put a ward here and see if anybody's here. Don't know if I can all in him. If there's no ward here and he moves up past here, this is actually a really cool part of the new map is that it makes ganking bot lane super, super easy. I'm going to have to get a, um, a red trinket and start clearing that. I have to land this fish. It's easier to land fish when you're in fog of war, so. There we go. That's the reason I went into the fog there, because you just get a little split second of surprise on the alt, which helps them maybe not think to dodge it. Especially with Cat, she can like W and just get a little burst of move speed to maybe dodge your stuff. So you have to be a little bit tricky and creative with how you want to land that. 
Okay, I think we have enough for Storm Surge, so we're gonna go back and buy that. Our bot lane is getting um, hammered pretty hard. So hopefully we can come back in this game, pick up another component. We're gonna make our full build well before 20 minutes, which is gonna be pretty dangerous. But Trundle's big and so is Lucian. So those are the two people that we gotta be careful of. As Fizz, like if there's a fed squishy, it's not that bad. Oh. Get that farm, that's for me. But we do want to contest this dragon. I am the biggest, I think the biggest in this game. I don't think he's going to get out of this. I'm just trying to watch my, my right side here in case any other enemies come. Alright, we definitely want to fight this Trundle. So we're going to try and come in here. Take the long way to cut off his retreat. I can't tank this, but what I can do is just slow him down with an R. So we're going to try and get in front of him and really block his angle. Even though that missed, what we're doing is we're pushing him back into the team, so... We'll just E on top of him here. There we go. Uh, we need to rush this fast because we're giving up mid for this shark, but I don't think they can actually take mid before we get there. I'm going to use my E. To get here a little bit faster, I gotta take. Actually, my E's gonna be off cooldown. I can take the aggressive way here. So we're just gonna try and shark. All right, that's not bad. We didn't lose too much off that. Lucian is not respecting my damage. If Brom's not with him, he's gotta be careful. All in all, pretty good. We killed the Fed Trundle. I'm coming. I'm coming. We don't win this though, because this is a uh, well. It is a four v three, but I know our map is not coming, so we just have to be careful. Rengar likely has ult again. Can't really contest that if the team doesn't want to come and do anything, so... We'll just let them get that crab. Um, I think I can recall here and get my full boots, but... These guys are pushing mid. Misfortune is just... <laughs> solo splitting lane. I love it against the Rengar. I have a shark, but... Unless I land this on Lucian's face with Braum not blocking it. Can't really kill these guys, so I'm gonna start signaling for assistance. Miss Force is just in her own world down there. Look at her. She's dead. Like, insta dead. Guys, please do yourselves a favor if you're playing ADC. If there's anybody on the team that can kill you, do not split. Part of the reason of going mid once lane phase breaks as ADC is because you're gonna be traveling around being the damage dealer, the attack damage carry, and you wanna be able to impact everywhere in the map. The other reason is. You don't want to get soloed by assassins who can kill you. This is one of the most tilting things of playing uh, mid lane is when your team just lets people get objectives for free. Like, these guys have been mid for so long, the two of them. And no one has showed face mid to try and help. It sucks to lose that tier 1 mid. It's actually such a good beacon of hope in games. I'm going to start spam pinging the Lucian, because this is our time to make a big play on this guy. We just waited for him to use his... Oh, he had to use Flash and Dash. I'm eating a lot, yeah. See, like, that's how hard it is to engage on these guys. They just have such good peel and, and disengage. But, Lucian did use his Flash and heal, I think, so we can be pretty aggressive here. Team is doing something weird. I don't know what they're looking for—a flank, or they just want to sit in the bush here. Like, very strange. All right, they're just all backing off now. Zyra's not even looking. She's not even looking to land a, a snare. Nothing. Just hanging back, chilling out. All right, I'm gonna have to start playing the side lane because these guys are now mid. Finally, I'm gonna go with Belveth. She's been playing pretty good. She's 7-4. Usually if uh, if you can silent and solo everybody, which I don't think I can solo Trundle. That's the one weird thing is Fizz with how strong some of these split pushes are. Just have to be a little bit careful. So what I'm doing instead here is I'm actually looking for opportunities to engage on, um, on targets that I know I can kill. And in this case, that's going to be Rengar. He's looking for me for sure. This guy's about to eat a shark, but... That's that storm surge right there. Uh, Rengar is dead. I don't think that there's anybody that can kill us, so we're just going to start it back here. Lucian's about to engage. Uh, sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry. I can't save you. I just need to get out of here. 
Okay, we're a little bit later in our core buy because we've been on the map for so long, but we're 7-0, and oh, and we're going to hit a pretty big spike here. So let's get our boots. Get a few options next. Um, I'm going to buy Zhonya's just because there's a lot of stuff going on this game, and a lot of people aren't wanting to engage with Snares, aka Zyra, so I think we're going to have to do a lot of jump in and, and jump out and kind of initiate fights and kind of pull people in to use their abilities, which means I'm going to pick up the Zanyas. What is this? It's not even Zanyas anymore. It's called Seeker's Arm Guard and has a time stop on that. He's likely doing this crab. I don't know where the crab is. The ghost crabs are still alive and well in season 14 where the map shows them as being there and then they're not. Very weird. I don't really want Sire to take this farm. Well played, minion. Good dodge. A lot of action going bot side and there's a dragon spawning soon so we're going to hang out towards the bot side half of the map here. See if we can go down here and kill somebody. Okay, burn another flash. So the rocket belt into R is a way that you can maybe surprise some people with some of the range of your R. And uh, we do a nice flash out there. These guys are going to rotate down to try and stop us from doing dragon. Trundle's running top to try and burn down the tower really quick. I'm going to just try and get this wave. Alright, pretty good. I don't know what my character is doing. Whoa. Um, I need to go help the save trucks. I'm going to start signaling to him to run this way. I don't know if he's going to or not. All right, well, he did in the end. That's good. I mean, I'm fed, so it's hard to tell if it's the the items that are now just super strong or just because I'm super fed. But I will say, his does feel strong right now. Stronger than he was in Season 13 for sure. I'm going to run towards his dragon just because yeah, MF's not. So our ADC is not going towards objectives, which is always nice. If she goes on me, or if Rengar goes on me, he's dead. But of course, he's going for our MF who's split pushing. And she probably doesn't even know what she's doing wrong. She's probably asking herself, why is Rengar always ulting me? And that's why. Because you're solo splitting. If you were with us, he would not have jumped on you. And as ADC, you should not be AFK solo splitting lanes. It's just too many things can kill you. Unless you're uber duber fed. And you can just, like, three shot people and heal everything back. Rengar could be in this bush, but I'm still strong. It's going to be worse for him. Come on, let's go. go hang out with Belveth here. I think we can just kill whoever comes. Even if more people show up. There's a lot of people mid, but let's kill this guy. I don't know where, why Belveth is running. Why are we letting this guy free farm? He's isolated by himself. Alright, we're going to go help the Sagebox instead. And a big shark on somebody. Okay, she got that one from us. I have a lot of stuff to be able to go in here and kill this guy. Alright, we're good, we're good. Can't kill him. Rengar's dead, so we're safe. Alright, good push. Velvet's got a few kills there, but not too bad. All right, now we've got our Zanyas, pretty big, big Zanyas. Oh, sniped out. This misfortune is not having the greatest game. She's got nine deaths, but she's doing pretty good with kills anyway. At least she's pressing R in good situations and picking up some kills. Rengar ult's probably the only thing I'm scared of here. If I use my E, he might kill me, but I do have stopwatch, so I can be a little bit liberal still with my uh, E use. And we are at level 15, which I believe is at least tied for the highest in this game. Lucian's doing a great job of only playing with... Oh, oh, but now he's not. Land it. Oh my gosh. Suspect. Okay, you're not going to catch me, so just chill out. Every time I go to collapse on these guys, they don't fight. Do you see me coming? Why? <laughs> no. 
What, what was the move back for? Why did he run away? Why was he scared of a 2v1? Oh, man. I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even... I don't know. This guy's free farming all game. A lot of action going on top here, so we're gonna run up here. Velvet is fed, so it's just like action dies before we even get there, but... Lucian's probably gonna try and run this way, so we're gonna try and cut him off. Knowing where he's going. E cooldown short enough, I can try and use it here. Oh, 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 he did not take that way. Interesting that he ran up there instead of towards here. Will we do the Baron? Probably not. Walk right into the snare. Alright, let's do it. Such a strange game. Such strange decision making from so many of these guys. She died again because she just refuses to group around objectives. Oh, uh, poor misfortune. I gotta uh, stop using my mana for this Baron and just save it in case Rengar comes in. I need enough mana to land my R at least. Nice. Um, I don't even know what we're building next here. I guess I want some more ability haste, so we'll just build into this item, whatever it is. Looks like a flower. Pick up the item, Fizz. Thank you. Still no mana in this build anywhere. That's very strange in Season 14 to not build any mana. Um, I am going to run towards kind of in between top and mid. Not great for my farm, but because I'm so fed, it's nicer to stay in the shadows here and see if I can uh, trick somebody into engaging on one of these two and then I can go in and finish them up. So I'm just going to spam that for Belvath to pick that up. Like right here, right here. Just like that. That's kind of why I was running between the two, okay. Okay. I guess he just wanted to kill somebody, but kind of sad that I couldn't get that kill. This guy is dead because we do have um, our R, so I'm just going to wait for... Okay. I'm slow him with my E if I can. It's not going to be enough to kill him, but... I'm going to be able to close this game out here, I think. So not too bad. I think overall Fizz is definitely strong. I think that uh, the items are probably what makes him the most strong. But um, let's see if we can land one shark on the solution for the end of the game. What a what a cheese ball, eh? Just dodging all my sharks. What a cheese ball. But yeah, guys, give it a try. I think um, Fizz is back, but the items are back. Anybody that can build these two items is going to be pretty strong this season. So we'll see if Riot keeps nerfing it.